Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of the Rancher Brothers! Hello! So today, we are going to be looking at things that you may have missed in the Slime Rancher 2 trailer and announcement. Let's get on with the video. There are some mysterious new slimes on this new island, but some, if not all, of the older slimes are going to return, such as the Lucky, Rock, Tabby, Pink, and Fire. For the fire, we saw an incinerator in the video. And then, for the pink slime, well, it's pretty obvious. We saw it mixed with the angler. We saw it next to the back gun. Yeah. Um, in the beginning. The tabby is in the photo with the rock slime and the cotton slimes. And then the lucky slime has been spotted in um, a photo where it's in like the little back corner hidden in the grass. Yeah, and then we also see a few other slimes. In this photo here, you can see it looks like there is a quantum slime mixed with another slime. So we're going to say that the quantum slime is also in this. And we can see full breed honey slimes. So I think that's very cool how they still have a ton of these other slimes. Now, another thing that confirms most or all of the slimes is the port market. Now, when this original announcement came out, some people in a few frames of the video of the trailer were seeing this photo. It's the plort market, and as you can see, it looks like there's some new plorts on there. But it's very hard to officially determine what plorts these are. But thankfully, Recently, we have a new photo of these cute slimes. So in this photo, you can see we have some flutter slimes, but in the background, we get another photo of the plort market. And as you can see, it's way better colored than the previous photo. And from this, many people, including me, were able to determine which slimes go where. Now, this photo here, I've labeled all the slimes that we know of, including the cotton slime, the angler slime, the batty slime, and the flutter slime. Now, there's one that I put a question mark below, and we'll get to that one in a couple minutes. So, we have all of these slimes from the previous game. So, these, plort mar these plorts are, in the, are on the plort market, but does it mean necessarily that all of the slimes are going to be in the next game? Not really. We're not quite sure of that yet, because we haven't seen them in any photos. We've seen some of them, like we've mentioned, but we haven't seen all of them. So, we're not quite sure if they're going to be in the game or not. But we're pretty definite on that. Going back to the mysterious slimes that we talked about earlier, that were also seen in the trailer, there are four confirmed ones, technically. There's the cotton slime, which is a bunny slime, the angler slime, which is a fishy slime, the batty slime, which is, um, well, I don't know, I don't know, it sort of seems like a bat slime, I can't really tell, and the flutter slime, a butterfly slime. The cotton slime sort of resembles the tabby slime, because the tabby slime is very jumpy, and so is the cotton slime. There was even a tweet by Nick Popovich, I don't know if I butchered that, so I'm sorry. But there's another tweet by him saying that he regrets mixing the two bouncy slimes. Oh boy. Yeah. So then we have the angler slime. Now, as we mentioned when we were looking through the trailer, um, we thought it was a water creature. And we thought it looked like um, a design from the, the ocean range. But... Um, looking at a new photo that was released, you can see that they are um, non-water creatures and they can come out of water. They aren't really like a twin to the little slimes, but they are, they look like water creatures, which is very cool. And we've also seen that they can be mixed with other uh, slimes pretty easily. So that's not really that big of a deal. So and then we have the batty slime, which we've only seen a couple of times during the night. So we can tell that this is a night creature, sort of like the phosphor slime. 
and we see that it's in a place at one point of the trailer that sort of looks like the grotto where sometimes we would keep our phosphor slimes if we didn't want to pay for the solar shield and the baddie slime I wonder if it can fly. And last but not least, the beautiful Flutter Slime. Now, we don't know too much about this one. It just sort of appeared in the trailers and in some photos. But I have my own guesses. Through the trailers and in some of the photos, there would be like beehive looking things. But maybe those are cocoons. Maybe there's like a caterpillar slime. That would be pretty cute if there was a caterpillar slime and you had to feed it so that it would grow into a butterfly slime. Now we have the new, one of the new slimes that is the most mysterious and that everyone has been talking about. The raccoon slime, or what they call the tanuki slime. So, here's what's weird. It only appeared in one photo. And that is a photo of the conservatory, and if you zoom right into the bat section, you can see the tanuki slime hiding in. And the thing, one thing that we do know about it is you can mix it with other slimes because if you look at the baddie slimes right above it, it's mixed with that tanuki slime. As you can see from the different pattern colors. And so this one is very mysterious because we haven't seen it in any parts of the trailer or any other photos. So we are not quite sure what it is. And some people were speculating that it's the hunter slime, but it couldn't be. It doesn't even look quite like the hunter slime. And so fans have been speculating that it's based off of this real life creature called the Tanuki. The Tanuki is related to wolves, foxes, and domestic dogs. So that's pretty interesting. For once we have a dog slime in the game. <laughs> so we're not quite sure of this one. It's very mysterious. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is something that I think needs to be talked about more in this photo. So would you like to explain? Yeah. So this photo is of a bunch of angler slimes bouncing around having fun. Some of them are mixed with pink slimes. Which brings us to the pink slime mix. Right next to it, it's trying to eat, with its giant teeth, a little pecan? Pe I, don't, I don't know what it is. Well, yeah, we're not sure quite what it is. Is it a chicken? Is it a bird? It, it just, it doesn't look like any other chicken or bird that is in the old game, like a hen hen, a rooster, a painted hen, etc. It doesn't look anything like any of those. The thing that makes it stand out is its crooked beak. I, I just, I don't know. This is definitely another mysterious creature lurking around in the second game. So next up, we have the conservatory. Now it's been shown in many photos, and as we can see, it looks like it's in the middle of the island, because in ma some, many of the photos, we haven't really gotten an up close of it outside of it. But we've seen it in the distance of many photos, so we're thinking it might be located towards the middle or the center of the island. Now, um, what is this? Is this a place to keep your food and your slimes? So what is this? Is it a new lab? Is it a new ranch? These are all things that could be possible. Like, what if it replaces the lab from the old game? What if it replaces the ranch from the old game? And as you can see, there's a huge tree in the center, which looks very cool. So this is another one of the mysterious things that's been shown many times, but we're not sure what it quite, what it is, basically. We're thinking it's just a place to keep your slimes, but it's m very different from the old game. Okay, so there's one question that might run through your mind. Where were the baddie slimes in the trailer? That's the thing that ran through my mind. Until I looked closer at the conservatory. If you look right next to the cotton slimes, there's a little, like, ramp going down, and that's what I'm thinking. Is that there might be, like, an underground part, and it seems this ramp is, like, made of sand or something. I can't tell. But 
from what I've seen, it seems that this could be where the baddie slimes were seen in the trailer. Something you may have missed from a Twitter announcement is that when one of the developers or co-founders was walking through the sand, you could see footprints. This game may not even be made on Unity anymore. The graphics look way better, and I think there's new graphics. This is something you probably may have missed, because it's not something that many people have seen. So, uh, something you may have missed is the scenery. Now, we, there are some mysterious things about the scenery, but it looks like there are some connections. There are some areas that look like the old game, um, with some areas that look like the Inigo Quarry, some areas that look like the Dry Reef, and some areas that look like the Moss Blanket. So I'm thinking some of the formations of this island are the same. It seems like these island, the, these places are more similar than we think. Now we're here to one of the m most mysterious things. In many of the videos and photos, we see the colorful grass. Would you like to explain? The colorful grass seems to have like this rainbow hue on it. Yeah, and it seems that it moves around throughout the videos, as you can see here. It's very mysterious in the way that it moves, the colors move around. This is another mysterious thing, and I'm wondering, what is it? Like, really, what is it? Yeah, so, there's something really weird going on in the background. It looks like the thing that transports you into the glass desert in the first game. Um, you know, when you go through the teleporter, basically, and you get all the plorts in there and all that stuff. But, like, look at that in the background. Yeah. There also seems to be a door on the mountain, which is also very mysterious. Now we have this photo. We call it the blue pink photo. And we call it the blue pink photo because, geez I said photo a lot, because the pink and the blue separates in the middle with the tree. Yeah, and there's blue, pink on the left side and blue on the other side with blue uh, grass and and a blue blue trees whereas there's pink grass and the pink trees and we also get another glimpse at this beehive we're still not quite sure of what this is well anyways that is it for this video uh we really hoped you enjoyed we'll see you whenever our next video will be um happy ranching bye, bye.